Hello, my name is Brandon Ferguson and today I'm going to show you how to use Honcho to create a self-updating Java application. Honcho is a Java application development suite. It is a cloud-powered service and requires only minimal configuration to use. You only need to install the Honcho control panel and download and configure the Honcho API to utilize its many features. One of the main features of Honcho is its ability to allow your software to self-update through peer-to-peer -peer file transfers, meaning the more people that use your software, the faster your software will update. First, we'll need to have Honcho Control Panel installed and have it open. Now that we have it open, we'll need to create an account. You can create an account by going to the File menu and clicking Register. We'll be calling this account Test Account and giving it a password and email address. And if you refer to Honcho by somebody, please enter their name here or uh, tell us how you found us here. Now that we have an account created, we'll need to create a project. Let's go to File, New Project. I'm going to be calling this Test Project. All right. Now that we have an account and a project, you'll notice that these tabs are enabled, which will allow us to configure and to view the details about a specific functionality of Honcho. Since we're only dealing with updating, we'll need the Update tab. So we'll click here. And then you'll notice that we have a project ID here and a revision here. The revision is zero. The revision uh, represents the current version of the software. And since we don't have anything up, uh, published, it's only revision zero. We'll need this project ID, so we'll copy that. And we'll save it here. And remind ourselves that that's project ID. Now, since updates can be made uh, two tiers, we'll need to also have the tier ID. You'll notice that we're on the default tier right now, which is the, the default tier, of course. And we'll go to the project, manage tiers, and you see that the default tier has a tier ID of this string. So we'll copy that, and we'll save that, and remind ourselves that that's a tier ID. The last thing we'll need is the API password as well as the API. The API is what actually connects to the Honcho servers and uh, downloads updates for us. So we'll need to go to project, download API, save this API password. And download the API. All right, now that we have all that, we'll need to create a project in NetBeans. So we're gonna create a project, new project, and it's going to be our test application project. Click finish. And we don't need this code. We're going to actually use the code that I provided in this blog post. This uh, link will also be in the uh, description, so you can find it there. If you scroll down, you'll find some example code. Double click on that. It'll take all the formatting. And then control A, control C to copy it. And we're going to paste it in NetBeans. Now it's going to say that it can't find these classes, and that's because they are in the API. So we're going to need to link the API to this project. So first we need to go to where we download the API at, which is right here on the desktop, and we're going to need to save it in our project folder, which is right here, and create a lib folder, and we're going to save it in there. Alright, now we go back to our project and we're going to link the library, which is going to be in our desktop, not desktop, sorry, our documents, NetBean projects, test application, lib, Honcho API. And let's let that scan. And it takes off all of those errors. All right, now we'll notice that we have a project ID identifier, project identifier, API password, and a tier identifier. These have default values of nothing, so we need to put our actual values in there for this to work. Let's copy our project ID. Let's paste that in there. Copy our tier ID. Paste that in there. And let's copy our API password and put that in there. All right, now that's all the configuration that's necessary for us to update this test application. You'll notice that it's not going to have any debug log because it's, uh, it's commented. You'll notice that it's going to create a UI 
with uh, the title test application frame and a label which will display the current version. So let's run that, see how that works. And it says that we are version 1.0, revision 0. All right, so let's close that and let's build that. Oops, oh, that's different. Okay, and let's save those files to the desktop. Test application along with our lib. All right, now those are the files for this test application. Now that we have them, we're going to need to upload them to Poncho. So if we go up to back to our Update tab, and we click Add Files, and then Browse, Desktop, and we are going to select the test application and the lib folder, and we're going to upload those. It's going to give those an integrity check so you can find out just which files those are. And we see that we have created files here. All right. Now that we've uh, uploaded those locally, we'll also need to send those to Honcho servers by publishing them. So we click Publish. We're going to call this version 1.0 and click Accept. And we're going to confirm that this is a test project, the default tier, version 1.0 and revision 0. It's going to send those to the Honcho servers and we're done. All right, now we notice that we have version 1.0 on the Honcho servers. These files here represent the files that are on the servers, the files that can be downloaded from your software. If we would like our software to update to the next version, 1.1, we'll need to update those files in here to 1.1. So you notice if we run this application, it just says version 1.0 or vision 0. And it's right now it is checking for an update, but since there is nothing, it's not coming up with anything. So what we need to do is actually make an update to this application and upload it to here and then run it again for the update to actually go through. So one thing we'll do for this is actually change the revision. We could make some more changes in here, but for uh, an example, we're just going to change the revision, which is more than enough to actually cause for an update to go through. So we're going to call this the first revision and we're going to call this version 1.1. So if we run this, we see that the application says version 1.1 revision 1. It also says that it is an invalid current revision. That's because we haven't actually uploaded this uh, these files to Honcho. So it thinks that this version right here is invalid. It doesn't think it exists. It just hasn't been uploaded yet. So technically it doesn't exist. So we'll close that and we will rebuild that again. And for example, since we want to see an update go through, we're going to make a folder and call that 1.0 and we'll save those files in there. And now we've built it, we're going to save those files back to the desktop again. These are the 1.1 files. So we'll put those here. And the only file that's actually changed is the test application.jar. The API is still the exact same, so we're not going to need to upload it again. So we'll just go here to add files and let's re-upload that test application.jar and it notices that it's been notified and we're going to publish that modification and we're going to call that version 1.1 so we click accept and we're going to confirm that test project default 1.1 revision 1 accept again and it's uploaded those to the servers so now when somebody runs the 1.0 version of our software it will update them to the 1.1 version. So let's try that. We double click test application. It says version 1.0 and also comes up with a uh, check for updates dialog box which says that a new version of test project available which is 1.1 and that it has no change log. We could, if we want to actually include a change log and tell what's been changed. But since nothing's really been changed, it's just example application. So we don't really need to do anything. So we're going to click update. It's going to come up with a uh, here it is an updater. Since this updates peer to peer, oh, I guess it's a lot faster than I thought. But since it updates peer to peer, it's going to search for peers first before it actually downloads. Since there's no peers, since this is a local instance, it's going to download straight from the Honcho servers. But as you see, uh, we've run the test application, and it's not version 1.1, revision 1. We close that. Try it again. 
it's still version 1.1 revision 1 so it's actually successfully been an update we can try that again um, seeing another update let's make a different bigger change this time and let's say this is uh, just add something here new version and we're gonna say it's 2.0 because we've done some big changes and we're gonna call that revision 2 since it is just the next revision after revision 1 we're going to clean and build that again and we are going to save those files to the desktop this is the uh, 2.0 files remember replace those files and we're going to upload them again to the Honcho servers. Only thing that's changed again is the test application. So let's open that, accept that, modification, publish it. We're going to say it's 2.0. We're not actually going to put a change log this time and say we've made some major modifications, which of course we haven't, but in this example. And we're going to accept version name 2.0, revision 2. Sounds good. Let's accept and we're done and now these files are on the Honcho server so when we run this which is actually not 1.0 anymore if you remember it's actually 1.1 now if we run this test application revision version 1.1 it's found uh, version 2.0 2.0 has some major modifications so let's accept and update once again it's going to search for peers to update peer to peer since there is none peer it's going to download directly from the Honcho server and it's going to run it again uh, because it's too big but as you notice it actually does have our new um, version the new version 2.0 revision 2 I believe yes revision 2 so that's all there is to updating with Honcho it's fairly simple and if you would like to learn more about Honcho please subscribe to our channel and go to www.codegrid.com and join our support forums thanks for watching